it's shed hunting season, and that means enthusiasts are heading into wildlife management areas to look for elk and deer antlers. Now we're looking into the science behind why these animals lose their antlers. Pretty much everything that drops sheds, find some big elk sheds, hopefully. We wanted to find out what makes elk antlers shed. We talked with animal researcher Nicole Lopez to help answer that question. I fell into antlers really early on in my research career, um, studying species who had antlers and tusks, trying to figure out why you would have one weapon or the, over the other. Many of the hooved animals in Montana are ungulate species, which include deer, elk, and moose. All of these species grow and shed antlers every year for a primary purpose. Males will fight one another, and there's different parts to the antler that may be used in different ways. But like a human doing curls in the gym, it's not just for strength. They also can be used to display or um, intimidate an opponent prior to the fight. And most of the time, that is what happens. Fighting is actually super, super rare. Elk having the biggest antlers actually means they fight the least, with deer, especially white-tailed deer, fighting the most. But when fighting, there's risk antlers are just made up of bones, and bones break. Elk antlers break at higher rates than deer antlers, and mule deer antlers break more often than whitetails. If the antlers break, chances of mating success drop drastically. So if they don't have a strong antler, they may not mate that year, and they suffer a really large fitness cost. For more information on antler breakage, shedding, and what determines the strength of each antler, check out the article on our homepage at NBCMontana.com.